Hello, in uh, this tutorial I will demonstrate you how to set up a virtual machine to use a VPN. So we are going to create a system VM and um, it will be based on Fedora 23 and inside it we, we will configure um, the VPN and then we can use other app VMs to use it like a like the sys firewall or the sysnet. Um, there are basically two ways to setting up a VPN. One is uh, GUI based so we will have an icon up here and then we can just right click on it and connect and the other approach is by setting up a bunch of scripts and letting the scripts do the work for you. Um, the second one is a little bit more secure because it has some additional anti-leak features and the first one is uh, the easier approach. So we are going to start with the first one. So we go to VM and create VM and as a name I'm going to uh, keep the naming convention and start it with sys minus and I will simply call it VPN minus FR1. So because I'm going to pick uh, the French server number one from my uh, internet, from my uh, VPN provider. Um, as a base, like I said, Fedora 23. As a color, I'm going to pick green and I'm going to uh, select a proxy VM. And as a network, it's going to use the sys firewall. So once uh, the virtual machine has been created, I will go to the settings and on services we can define what services to start when the uh, virtual machine is being started and I will pick the network manager meaning that once I start this virtual machine a network manager icon will pop up, will pop up here in the, in the right top as you can see a new icon appeared up here in the top right and here I can configure my VPN but in order to call, to actually configure the VPN, I need to download the VPN configurations first. So I go to the uh, sysvpn vr, I open up a terminal, and I'm going to create a folder called um, imi.search for the certificates. And I will simply download the uh, certificate files from my window. And on Packham, and there we go. Those are all the files we need. Now I can create, uh, start creating the configuration by importing a safe VPN configuration. And I will pick the French server number one and select the OpenVPN file. And this is already um, creating as many things as possible. If we take a look at the config file itself, you can see that this config file is set up uh, to have inline configurations. So the TLS auth file and all the other files are already included inside um, this config file, but the network manager doesn't like that style very much so it's not actually picking those. So we simply go down in here and select the user certificate which is imi.crt then we select the uh, CA certificate which is the certificate authority ca.crt and the private key which is imi.key Okay, um, as a type, we also have to enter a username and password. So we have to uh, pick a different option, password with certificates, and enter the username and password. And of course, we have to select those again. So first the certificate, CRT, then the CA certificate, and last but not least, the private key. Okay, so now we got all that set up. Um, if we take another look into the config file, you see a segment here called TLS auth. So this is like some kind of additional encryption during the um, authentication process. 
So when you're connecting to VPN, it's adding uh, some more entropy to the key hand uh, to the to the key exchanges. So we have to configure that as well. That can be done by going to the advanced tab to TLS authentication and we enable verify peer server sign uh, usage signature. Uh, the type is a server because our remote part is a server and we also have to specify the key file which is also shipped in this bundle file. So that's the TLS auth key. And we click OK and that is basically all that has to be done. Now we can save and close our files. Now it's asking us to choose a password for the new key ring. Uh, what's that exactly? Um, so if we create a password, a VPN with a username and a password, it has to save those information locally. And in order to do that, it's going to create a key ring, you set a password and it encrypts uh, the VPN's username and password with this password. So you should pick a secure password here. And now we can basically connect to it. And you can do that by simply left clicking on this icon, go to VPN connections and click AUFR1 or however you, you called it. And you can see VPN connection has been successfully established. So if we take a look at our VPN VM, we can now, for example, run a trace route towards Google. And you can see that the first hop is a 10.9.1.1, which is exactly the uh, gateway I was expecting from the VPN. And you can see that it's going through France. So for example, um, if we are in the personal VM and we open up a browser and we go to whatismyip.com then we have to limit <laughs> okay let's just go to another side my ip so according to this website we have a german ip address starting with 93 which is what's what's going on right now what i can do now is go to the personal vm and change the net vm to be the sys vpn so from now on all the traffic that's being um, sent through our personal VM is being forwarded um, through our VPN VM. And we can test that again by running another trace route. And you can see it's exactly the same route, but there's just one more step ahead, which is basically uh, from traveling from the personal to the uh, VPN one and then going through the firewall, the net and into the internet. So now if we refresh this website, you can see the IP changed and I'm on the French VPN server of InternetSME. So it's very convenient to enable, disable your, um, your VPNs this way. And in the next part, I will show you how to do it manually by using the command line. So see you then.